Hi, I'm Liz Jaffe, and I'm the current president of the American Association for Cancer Research. I always tell my students and postdocs, this is the best time to be in cancer research. We're rapidly moving these new discoveries into real treatments for patients. These are durable treatments that are turning deadly cancers into chronic disease. There's been tremendous progress in the past 20 to 30 years, but this could not have happened without basic science. As an example, immunotherapy. So what do current immunotherapies, how do they work? Well, they work by altering T cells. T cells are the cells that can recognize and kill cancer. They activate a T cell. Well, it was basic science, it was 30 years of basic science that taught us about T cells and about T cell regulation, activation, downregulation, that allowed us to develop these therapies. So it's very important for people to realize that without basic science, we would not be where we are today with all of these wonderful developments that have led to real treatments for patients that are giving long-term durable responses. I'm very passionate about all areas of cancer research, but there are a couple of areas that are really making progress. So for instance, precision oncology. Instead of thinking that a cancer derives from a particular organ, we're starting to define those cancers more precisely based on their genetics, based on their inflammatory conditions within the tumor. That's important because we can then pick the best treatments for individual patients. And so patients can now have a biopsy of their tumor. We can sequence their tumor, find out what are the different genetic and inflammatory signals that are most important to driving that cancer and figure out the best cancer therapy. So I predict that precision oncology will continue to make major headways um, as we move forward over the next five to 10 years. The other area I have to admit is immunotherapy. I'm an immunotherapist, but I, I don't think I'm biased on this one. We've seen over 30 approvals, FDA approvals in seven years for immunotherapy of different cancers. And we're just starting out. I think those are the low hanging fruits. I think we're gonna see a lot more progress in this area. And what's really cool is that genetics and the immune system are really coming together to make that progress. So bringing different disciplines together has really helped to move the cancer field forward. Technologies are going to be very important and technologies that can allow better ways to conduct screening for cancer and early detection. I think also the other area that's going to be important is being able to um, analyze big data in multiple different ways. So currently we, we, we can take a data set on genetics and compare it with a data set on clinical outcomes. What we really need to be able to do is develop three-dimensional pictures of a patient's individual cancer and then correlate it with outcomes or response to therapies. And so I predict that we're going to have multiple different types of technologies that are going to make our jobs a lot easier in deciding how to treat a patient. The federal investment in cancer research is critical to cancer care. Almost everyone has been touched by cancer, whether it's a family member, a friend, or themselves. We all understand the impact, not only from you know, the personal issues associated with cancer, but it also um, inhibits the workforce. If you have cancers, you're out of work. Um, it, it changes a lot of things in life, and it's very important that we make progress in developing therapies so that all Americans and all people in the whole world can live more healthy lives and longer lives. And there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to. It's just a matter of federal investment because we have great science, we have the technologies, but we still need funding to be able to do this the right way. And we also need the funding to get these good therapies to everybody. These are all important components of the whole continuum of research to good patient care.